Did you guys know that you can have pretty amazing foods in 7-Eleven in Thailand? And most of them don't even cost a dollar? Today I'm going to world's biggest 7-Eleven store and I'm going to try their food that is known for being tasty and just ridiculously cheap. This amazing 7-Eleven is in Pattaya, Thailand and it's honestly everything that I could ask for. They have a little restaurant section where you can order food that they cook for you and a spooky robot that chases you around. I tried a ton of different foods for you guys to see, so please enjoy every second of this video. But before we start, you guys often ask me how I find all these amazing restaurants to go to. Well, my answer to that is community and technology, which is why it makes me feel amazing to talk about today's sponsor, Mukbee. Mukbee is a social app that you can use to discover hidden gems around you for food. Unlike other platforms, you can find these places based on the food instead of the review scores of the restaurants. Restaurant review scores these days is like kindergarten grades. Everybody scores high so you don't know what to trust. Well, you can use Mukbee to find your favorite food influencers that you can trust and instantly find their favorite food spots in their profile page, including mine of course. And you can also start curating your own favorite food spots to share with your friends privately or to share with the rest of the world that is missing out on all that amazing food that you know about. As an active member of the Mukbee community, you can earn Mukbee points, which you can use to redeem rewards like exclusive restaurant discounts and other exciting prizes. What's even better is that Mukbee is currently running a giveaway where every post you make becomes an entry to win a vacation. Guys, it's absolutely free for you to use, so don't waste another second of your life. Use the link in the description to download Mukbee and follow me too. Okay, we're back. It's not my first time coming to an Asian convenience store. But this is probably one of the biggest one I've seen. It's a two-story building and they're selling mostly food. Let's quickly take a look at some of that. They had all kinds of instant noodles and I noticed that they have a lot of Korean noodles. And Slurpee, I love it but it was out of order. And of course they had a lot of snacks. They have avocado and cream cheese flavored lace chips. That's so crazy. Wow, these eggs are really affordable too. That's like $1.50 for 10 of those. And there was this robot that was just moving around, not really doing anything. I'm not sure what his real job was, but he was definitely not doing a great job. He's just staring at people like that. Come on, I know you can. Wave back at me. Sometimes it randomly waves at people. I don't know if that's supposed to be cool or scary. Come on, man. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to like half-ass it like that. They also had a large bakery section, and I just love these pastries. Oh Jesus, those donuts look amazing. These look pretty amazing too. On the second floor, they had this coffee shop. Unfortunately, when I was visiting, there was no one working there. What a shame. Okay, they have a lot of food and I want to try them right now. Let's not waste more time. It's time to start shopping. All right, I actually came from the gym just now. Let's get some food. I need lots of it. I kind of want to try this avocado cream cheese lace chips. That sounds crazy, but that sounds crazy good. They have Demon Slayer snacks here too. It's just my personal opinion, but Demon Slayer doesn't have a great plot. But you guys make your own decision on this. Would you guys fancy some cuttlefish crackers? How much of it is actually cuttlefish? I don't know. Let's find out. Wow, this place is so great. Oh my god, I love this place. Ham, cheese, spinach, double sandwich. Don't know what that is. It just sounds awesome. I love the packaging design. Look at this character. It's so cute. I also want to try this uh, very popular Thai instant noodle. Some kind of tom yum noodles, I think. Now, I would love this basil chicken spaghetti. Guys, it's 40 baht. That's like a dollar. What else is there? You know what I also realized in Thailand? The products that they have in the supermarkets, it's like a combination of Japan and the US. And to be honest with you guys, I like a lot of the American products too. That's one of the things that I miss about America. They have great consumer products. I feel like I need something to drink as well. I wouldn't mind this power vitamin drink, lemon flavored Sprite, coconut water. I want to get this tuna salad roll. That looks like spring roll pretty much. I'm going to get this crazy coconut jelly pudding. This mysterious mochi-like snack. I got this salmon onigiri for 30 baht. Can't be bad, right? Just like the convenience stores in Japan, they heat up the food for you. That's a lot of food, but I'm a big boy and I'm hungry. Everything that I got just now cost $9.95, not even $10. It's kind of crazy. 
That being said, I feel like I need to get a little more. This is something that I didn't see in other 7-Eleven stores, and it's their bakery section. It's not very Thai, but I love a good donut. <laughs> and it looks like within this 7-Eleven location, there's a little restaurant section. Hello. Lava creamy omelet and stir-fried minced pork with basil and bacon on rice. That sounds fantastic. You guys have pizza? Oh yes, they do have pizza. Oh my god. At this point, they should just call this place a food court. Okay, okay. Can I have this one? Okay. So they have a little dining area on the second floor, which is really awesome. So yes, everything I got here costs about $15 total. Unbelievable, right? I mean, look at that. What the hell? That's real food. I feel happy just by looking at this. So let's get started. I feel like this is going to be really worth it. I got it from their restaurant. This is something that you see everywhere in Thailand. Check this out. It's minced pork with basil leaves and rice. So is 7-Eleven representing Thai food the way it should? Of course it's not as good as the ones you would have in like outside restaurants. But I'm still very, very satisfied with this. How much was this? This was like $3 too. So I would say this is definitely far better than one of those packaged food. But I can tell that it was kind of pre-made, so it wasn't like restaurant food. Wow. Don't get me wrong though, it is very good. Let me try this microwavable stir-fried noodles. They're actually using spaghetti noodles. And let's be real here, it's a microwavable noodle. But the look of it honestly seems very promising. The noodles are still alive. So how good is this Thai spaghetti? Again, it's like a less good version of a, a restaurant food. It's not quite as good. It gets pretty close though. You know one of those frozen spaghetti noodles that are always on discount? I would say this is much better in quality and much bigger portion too. This is kind of random, but when I was a teenager, some of my friends' moms used to give me one of these noodles for dinner. This might sound very entitled, but now that I'm older, I realize that they just wanted to give me the cheapest food possible. I would cook amazing food for my kids' friends. Let me try this Thailand's very popular tom yum cup noodle. Let me tear this off. Actual tom yum soup. The color of the soup looks legit. As far as the noodles, it's the same as what you get in any Korean instant noodles. Let's try the soup. It's almost the same as the Korean noodles. There's like just 5% hint of tom yum kung flavor. It's not very strong. But let's face it, we love instant noodles. The flavor is like half guilt and half sodium. I would love some white rice to go with it. Oh, things are getting pretty spicy now. Let me get this lemon flavored Sprite. It's like sparkling lemonade. This is a secret, but I have a really strong addiction to soda. I like it. So it's hard for me to dislike anything that's carbonated. Now before it gets cold, I'm gonna have to have my favorite food ever. The pizza. I love pizza so much. Well, I already know that Thai people can make really great food. Do they make great pizza though? Yeah, their pizza is okay. It's like very, very basic. I wouldn't call this like a well-crafted pizza. It's not even as good as Pizza Hut, but you gotta realize that it's very affordable. It's okay. I would have loved to see some more topping, maybe some more cheese. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't quite enough to awaken the inner Italian in me. Okay, moving on, let's try this tuna spring roll. It has a little bit of tuna. It definitely has tuna. It has a dipping sauce. The lettuce, the carrot, and the cucumber in it, they're surprisingly fresh. Since there's not that much tuna in it, I kind of see it as a salad alternative. Like, there was so little tuna that I could probably feed it to my vegan friend without mentioning that there's tuna and not really feel guilty about it. Wait, that actually sounds fun. Okay, let's try this textbook convenience store food, salmon onigiri. Let me take a bite. Mm. My honest feeling was that it's not as good as the ones that I had in Japan or Korea. The rice is a little too gooey. Whoever made this rice, Bad Asian. I mean, the amount of salmon in there was acceptable, and the dried seaweed was crispy, so maybe I just got a bad batch of rice. Even the best Asians make that mistake sometimes, you know? I'm getting thirsty. I need that vitamin power water. 
Mm. You know what it tastes like? Like if you poured Red Bull into a cup and then left it outside for like a day, that would taste like this. So this was kind of an energy drink, which explains why it kind of tasted like Red Bull. I still have more stuff that I can eat, which I'm very happy about. Let's get this sandwich. Mm. This is the spinach sandwich. Never had something like this before. But it's pretty tasty. The bread was really light and it had a plenty of cheese. And you guys know, cheese and bread together, they can't really go wrong. This must be the one with ham. This one had a micro slice of cheese and ham, but the bread was also very thin, so I think it tasted pretty balanced. Yeah, much better than I thought. Now I want to move on to the more snacky things. This I believe is some kind of mochi. I'm guessing it might be like mango mochi. Definitely has that very sticky, sweet mochi flavor. There's this cream and I think that's where the mango flavor comes from. Donut? Who doesn't like donut, right? If there's one good thing about being a corporate worker in America, mm. it was the fact that they gave me donuts every Fridays. I love donuts. It tastes insanely unhealthy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Hasn't been five seconds yet. The donut was okay. It had a lot of cream, but the dough itself didn't taste any better than one of those factory-made supermarket donuts. Gotta try this too. Mmm. Once again, they had a lot of cream, which I really liked, but the bread part felt a little too dry for me. I mean, it doesn't always have to be dripping wet, but I don't appreciate buns that are desert dry. Do you guys like Lay's chips? I used to get these all the time. The chips are green, which is kind of weird. Avocado cream cheese. I honestly don't really taste a lot of avocado. Okay, the marketing definitely got me this time. If some vegan dude farted into this can, that will carry more avocado flavor than this. This is bizarre coconut jelly snack. And it looks like it has two separate layers. Because if I lift it up like this... Underneath it, there's this coconut milk layer. And then I'm pretty sure I just dumped the... Hold on, it's too sticky. Oh, you're supposed to like microwave it to warm it up. I'm too lazy. Would you guys like some? No? So it's rice balls in coconut milk. Because I didn't microwave it, the rice balls were kind of hard. Yeah, I'm sure it tastes a little different when you microwave it. I think what I like the most about this is just the coconut milk. Hmm. Who doesn't like coconut milk? The cuttlefish snack. This cuttlefish snack was very much like Korean or Japanese snacks. Sweet and savory at the same time. Is it delicious? Uh, I mean, it's okay. Last but not least, let's try this coconut juice. Inside it looks coconutty, milky. And I think I see pieces of coconut. Cheers, my friends. It's kind of like coconut water with some pieces of coconut in it. I gotta say, I didn't see a lot of charm in this. I mean, it's good, but you can get real coconut for the same price in Thailand. And that's everything that I had at the biggest 7-Eleven in the world. So what did I think? I would say the food isn't delicious, but they're actually pretty good. And they were so ridiculously affordable that it's hard for me to complain. So if you're ever in Thailand, give it a visit for a satisfying, affordable meal. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like me, go ahead and watch another video of mine, will you? And thanks again, Mugby, for sponsoring this video.